Gonna believe this, but figures good, don't it? The crowd loves this one. Don't forget to buy some popcorn! Let's see what he has this time. Thank you. 
A self-propelled mobile kiosk branded Steam Booksellers roams the streets, selling novels amongst the chaos. An automated voice speaks. Mr. Edwards passes along these personal recommendations in preparation for his grand unveiling on the 21st. Insert five shillings to purchase. Maybe we'll learn something interesting here. I hope we learned something here at least. Held mobile you cannot be serious. A self-propelled mobile key could have gone worse, I suppose.
a little something for everyone.
afternoon.
Who's the best choice to please the audience this time? We won! But do we think we can do it again? We won! But do we think we can do it again? Uncle, are you ready to talk about it? Ready? <laughs> no, that will never happen. But for you, Amy, of course, I'll discuss the accident that killed your mother. Tell me about her, as her brother. Susanna Masters was a beautiful soul. My little sister, I adored her so. It was a damn fine big brother, if I do say so myself. At least early on, I suppose. Amy, please don't make this any more difficult than it has to be. Can we please just take some time to honor her wonderfulness before we jump to tragedy and blame games? Of course. I'm sorry. My fondest early memory was trying to teach your mother her own name, but Susanna proved a bit of a mouthful for a one-year-old. All she could manage was Shanda! which I quite liked and opted to call her for the rest of her life. <laughs> you were the only one, until she chose that name for lion taming. What led to her becoming a lion tamer? I'm curious if you recall. Who's interviewing whom here? Of course I remember. When I was three, the circus started, and she wanted to help out. Even though she was a single mother, she decided, at your behest, mind you, to tour Europe and Asia looking for acts. And my behest brought out her very best. <laughs> That's horrible. You love it. Maybe a little. The travel cost me a normal childhood, but I'll always treasure it. Just me, Mum, and Aunt Phyllis. Of course, Suresh Biswas in Hamburg taught her everything she needed to know. And that's something you were there for, not me. Yes, I was there, for every session of lion taming he offered her. And it wasn't even courtship. He genuinely wanted to teach her. Seven years later, it's 1884, and you're all back! With Leonidas, the lion Suresh gifted Shanda because he had faith in her. After years of sending amazing acts my way, it turns out the best one ever is about to show up! My little sister Susanna. Soon, Shanda the lion tamer. There was never a more popular act, was there? No, nor will there ever be. She commanded that stage for five glorious years. More than I ever did for certain, and most definitely more than Eli could ever hope to. But near the end of that fifth year... It's time to talk about the actual incident. I constantly pushed Shonda to better her act. One day I asked Dr. Mabry if he knew a way to safely add some fire. Pyrotechnics, some call the effect. I lied and told him it was her idea. Though he was happy to oblige. 
always did seem rather fond of your mother. We tested Ollie's contraptions dozens of times. The fire always shot straight into the air. It always worked exactly as it should. Until it didn't. Until it didn't. The contraption was all set up for its first use in front of an audience. But somehow, damn it, somehow, the fire shot towards the ring instead of above it. A huge ball of flame was headed right for Leonidas until... Until... Until Mum jumped in the way. Typical Shanda. She sacrificed herself so that someone else could live. Didn't even need to be human. Leonidas has the scars to this day. And the blindness. He would have died if Mum hadn't saved him. How can you bear to take him with you everywhere? A constant reminder of that day. How can I not? So here it is, Uncle. The big question I dread asking just as much as you do answering. Was the accident your fault? To this day, I do not know how our spectacle failed. Its malfunction should not have been possible. But it did. And I know of no one else to blame but myself. So, Amelia... Yes. How else can I say it? Yes. I killed your mother. <sighs> That'll be all.